and hey what is up guys untamed technologies back with another video and in this video i'll be showing you how to overclock the speed of your cpu with the help of a simple app of which i'm going to give the description down below the like button so i get this question every time that even uh, even after having such good ram we are not able to play games too smoothly and our phone lags very much so we just as in computers we can overclock the speed of cpu directly so similarly we can overclock the speed of cpu in phones too so let's check out so first i'm going to show you the specs of this phone i've already shown the specs of this phone so i'm not going to show you the specs basically so, but i'm going to show you the speed of the cpus right now so you can see it's constantly on 800 megahertz right now it keeps changing but mostly it's on 800 megahertz because it's a four because it's have two cores that means four cpus of they have a clock speed of 800 megahertz 1.2 gigahertz okay so let's change that these are the ads that annoying ads so there's basically an app called set cpu which allows you to change the maximum and minimum of your free a maximum and minimum frequency of your cpu it is counted in megahertz so right now it's on 800 megahertz the max is 800 megahertz and the min is 800 megahertz it also sets you to allow the profiles which are not useful right now the runner is for you know developers and this is I'll be showing you in just a minute so first let me show you the mains so right now it's on 800 megahertz it keeps changing but uh, still it you can see here 800 megahertz max and 800 min you can also set the modes on demand user space interactive and performance that would not have help, help me very much i prefer to keep on cfq and uh, performance if you like so right now it's on 800 megahertz max and min so we can change it from here itself you can change the max of the cpu and the min of the cpu so i'm gonna change it to 933 i recommend to change it on the middle one 933 megahertz because if you change it on 1200 uh, the battery will be draining too fast which you i hope you don't want basically you can change the cpu speed overclock it that is overclock it uh, after the boot if you wanna so if you wanna uh, select it after the boot it will get changed after the boot but if you don't select it on the set on the boot option so it will directly change the speed of your cpu so we'll be verifying that in just a minute with the help of cpu z so i'm gonna do that to interactive and cfq yeah and profiles is not useful not nor is the learner so here we go in this device it will show the information of your device kernel brand etc and cpu's features etc and here are the battery level and the temperature so that's not actually useful and these four these last four integer bench and floating point bench native bench and stress test are really important i'll be showing you in just a minute so first let's check have we overclocked it right away so we'll open the cpu z again you see it's cpu 0 1 2 and 3 are again on 933 megahertz and it won't change right now because i've changed it so firstly they were on 800 megahertz now it's changed to 933 megahertz similarly if you want to change that to 1200 megahertz so let me show you that too and let me go to the main profiles and change it to the 1200, 1200 max and 1200 min and just not click on set and boot so let me just go to cpu z now and here we go you see cpu 1 2 and 3 and cpu 0 1 2 3 are now on 1200 megahertz each so basically you have overclocked the speed of your cpu and now you will observe that the games and the lag which you previously experienced will not be there at all I'm, I'm i'm not lagging in my phone right now but uh, for those who are lagging in their phone they can accept this technique and it would be useful for them to you know smooth up their phone and enough the lag which they experience so i'm gonna set it to 933 itself because it's a middle one i like it the way it's the way it is because on i've already told you on 1200 mega on 1200 megahertz it gets changed 
which is not quite useful so let me just go to the now integer range so it basically ch it checks the integer score of your phone and the more the time it takes the worst your phone is so it basically tells you the lower it is the faster it is so i've got a score of 100 meters per second and you can compete with your friends checking about this scores and bragging about your scores so this time it took uh, 65 meters per second it changes every seconds so 108 and it keeps changing and this is gonna take time floating point bench so similar similar procedure it gives you the it takes to it takes you to the highest level which your phone can go and check the speed at that point and that point is called device's floating point so it's uh, checking it so here we go it's zero meter per second which is let me check it again so the lower it is the faster it is as it is in integer i've shown you right there so it's checking let me see once again it's benchmarking so we have to wait a little bit here we go, I've got a say 0 meter per second score and the lower it is, the faster it is, so that means I'm quite fast right now. So let me do a native speed test. So basically that is a simple speed test. So it took me 102.1938 or 8 meters per second, the lower is the faster. So it is not, it also tells you that it is not affected by GIT and other VM optimization which my phone has. So let's do the last, that is the stress CPUs to test stabilities. So let's check. So it basically gives stress to your CPU and checks how it works at that position. So let me check it. It's running and it also says press back to, back to win. So the, so the lower it is, the faster it is, as I've told you earlier, the four, the four of it, the lower it is, the faster it is. So it's running a stress test. We have to wait a little bit long. The more it takes, the bad it is. So it is taking a right long. Basically, in uh, the benefit of over overclocking your CPU is that uh, you would be you would not experience any lag right now. But uh, if you overclock it way too much far, that is, if you click it on 1200 megahertz and keep on using it, your bra your battery will be draining too fast which uh, I guess you don't want so it's good but uh, overclocking is a pretty nice feature in which is so basically it allows you to you know get away from the stresses and keeps your RAM smooth and keeps it working yeah so I've got a stress test so it lasted for 71092 meters per second with no errors that's it and this is about the app if you want to donate donate you can donate to the developer and for any queries you can go to the go to its change login documentation etc let me clear it all okay uh, so that's it for the video i'll be leaving down the link of this set cpu you can see it set cpu in the link description below and cpu z2 so enjoy your day and cheers.